in the Smokies it's been a while it's been about a year since we've been here in the Smokies and I'm excited to be here I'm here with Tim Watson like always he's up there a little bit ahead of me but uh, we're starting on the newfound gap and then we're gonna head to uh, where are we heading to Tim cabin flats. to the cabin flats tonight and then uh, a little bit on the AT I think maybe like six miles and then we are going to hit Charlie's Bunyan and kind of loop back around. made it to our first uh, intersection here and we are going to be going right and then tomorrow we're staying at Ice Water Spring Shelter so on the last day we will loop back around and we'll actually catch this trail back around to the car but we're going to be going this way for now Right, so uh, the waterfall I was just showing you guys, um, I about fell again, but anyways, the uh, waterfall that I just showed you guys, I put my camera away, I watched Tim cross the waterfall, and watched Tim slip, he about fell, and I went to cross, stepped right on a wet rock, and I slipped and fell. So, I didn't get it on camera, but uh, Tim did, so, little, I'm fine, wasn't hurt. No big deal. A little bit of comedy relief, I guess. And uh, now, it's uh, starting to rain a little bit, so we may have to bust out the rain gear here soon. I don't know. It's not, not too bad yet, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we had to break out the rain gear. It's not raining super hard, but just hard enough to put the rain jacket on. So for now, we are hiking in the rain, and we're still going downhill. <laughs> we'll break here at the Kephart Kep Shelter. See it right there behind me. Pretty nice shelter. It's right here beside a stream. Um, it's got a nice fire fire pit. It's really really roomy in there. But we are not staying at the shelter tonight. We're staying at the Cabin Flats shelter. We're just kind of stopping here, getting the packs off, taking about a 15, 20 minute break, kind of drying off a little bit from the rain. It's raining, started raining pretty hard about an all out downpour really. So. So behind me, you see the Superior Wilderness over here. <laughs> The Superior Wilderness uh, Frameless 35 pack. First real trip I've had it out on. And so far I'm really liking it. I think it's gonna be my go-to pack. All right, breaks over. We are heading down Dry Sluice Gap. Two and a half miles to the uh, next spot. So here we go. Rain stopped, which is good. It's always nice to kind of dry out a little bit back on the trail and again and it started raining pretty hard we decided not to put the rain gear back on and just embrace the fact that we're gonna be wet because we're already sweaty and we spent a little over two hours 
losing elevation after all that elevation we gained. And now we're just climbing back up all the way to the AT. But it's still a beautiful day out here, even though it's a little bit hot, a little bit wet with some rain. That never hurt anybody. Any day on the trail is better than a day sitting at home or at work. Last intersection for the day. We got another 0.6 miles to camp. The last three miles seem to take forever for some reason. Maybe we're just hiking slow, but it uh, seemed like it took a lot longer than it should have. But anyways, 0.6 miles to camp. We're gonna get set up hopefully before it starts raining again. Get some food, call it a night in the hammock. All right guys, so we made it to camp, got all set up. We got a break in the rain, so we actually got to set up um, and stay dry and let our stuff kind of air out and dry a little bit since we got dumped on pretty much all day. But uh, yeah, right here, it's a pretty, pretty nice campsite. Flip it around here. There's Tim's hammock. There's my setup. You guys know the deal with that. It's the UGQ tarp with the Dream Hammock, X, X Therm sleep pad, X pillow, and I'm using the Hammock Gear Burrow 30 um, top quilt. But I am uh, gonna get some food, change into some dry, warm clothes, probably gonna hit the hammock, and I will be out for the night. Morning guys, it's the morning of day two. Just been laying around in the hammock, kind of delaying on getting moving today. It rained all night, everything is so wet. But uh, I stayed dry in my hammock. The UGQ tarp performed awesome. So I guess it's time to get moving. Gonna get packed up, get drived up, and we're gonna hit the trail. All right, so check this out, guys. Just got back on the trail and come across this cool little bridge crossing. This is right off the uh, Bradley Creek Trail. Pretty cool. I don't know why I like bridges so much, but I think they're really cool. Yeah, check this view out over here. And then the view coming down around this way. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're back on the AT and we haven't had many views of anything because it's been so rainy and so foggy. And I know you probably can't see that really well, but somewhat of a view. So hopefully uh, we'll get some kind of views on this trip. Um, Charlie's Bunyan is supposed to be a pretty sweet view, but as foggy as it is, I don't know if we'll be able to see much or not. Finally opening up, the fog is lifting. Check out that view. That is awesome. And that is why I love the Smoky Mountains. So we're just uh, trekking along here on AT. Got six miles on AT, and then I think 1.7 miles to the shelter. And it sounds like we've met a bunch of through hikers. Sounds like the shelter is going to be jam packed. So there's a good chance we'll be finding a spot to set up our hammocks tonight, which is fine with me because I'm not a big fan of the shelter. So either hammock camping, shelter camping, who knows? We'll see. But uh, before we get to the, to the uh, shelter, 
we will be stopping off at Charlie's Bunyan and hopefully it stays clear so we can get um, some awesome views up there. All right, we made our intersection and we are going to go right down this way to Charlie's Bunyan. It is 0.5 miles and hopefully uh, we'll catch the views. We've been able to see it walking around this whole way around on this ridge on the AT. But there is a storm rolling in, so hopefully it doesn't suddenly hit and we miss the views. So we're going to try and book it up there. Charlie's Bunyan. This is awesome. The views are sick up here. Good morning. It's the morning of day three. We're just leaving the shelter. It was the ice spring water shelter, I believe. Um, the shelter wasn't bad. Didn't sleep that great. It wasn't because I was uncomfortable this time. The pad did its job. The Hammock Gear Burrow 30 did its job. I stayed warm. But it's just so loud in there. There's so much noise from everybody else. And I'm such a light sleeper. Um, so I didn't sleep very well, but I feel pretty good. I do, uh, my knee is pretty sore right now. I don't know if it's from this trip or just trying to work too hard in the gym. Not quite sure what's going on, but the knee is definitely sore. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good night. We met a lot of through hikers at the shelter and some people that were doing section hikes. And everybody was really pretty cool. We had a good time in the shelter last night. Got there pretty early. Just hung around with everybody. And uh, it was a pretty good time. Some pretty uh, funny people there. I didn't film while I was there, but Tim Watson did film while we were in the uh, shelter. and. He's got a lot of the guys on video, so if you want to see that, watch Tim's video, which will come out the same time as my video. So if you're watching this, go over and uh, hit Tim's video, and I'll put it up in the uh, link as it pops up on the screen there. But yeah, um, good trip. The first day, we uh, pretty much just hiked through the rain and out to our campsite wasn't much going on hammock camp the first night and then uh, yesterday was an awesome day it downpoured until about noon but it cleared up and then we got a lot of the really good views along the Appalachian Trail and then we uh, hit Charlie's Bunyan and Charlie's Bunyan is in my opinion probably the best view I've seen in the Smokies it's epic and um, I don't know, really good trip, but now we're heading out. Just got a three mile hike out. We're gonna hit the car and then we're gonna get some good food because the trail food just don't cut it. It's time for some barbecue. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy my videos, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.